News cut. Jehovah Witnesses in shock in Hamburg. Brightly Kingdom Hall with rows of empty chairs arranged in plain. Hamburg Jehovah Witnesses cancelled all their services after the shooting. The attack took place after worshippers their service. The police were told they cannot rule out a possibility of a so-called copycat attacks, says Michael Trash, who speaks for the community here. He is smartly dressed in a business suit and looks esteemed clear. Two of his friends were killed in the attack. He tells us he spent Thursday night with survivors in hospital hospital at the police station that were also comfort relatives as they waited emergency centre for news of their loved ones. Doug, it's hard to imagine the group sitting together that evening, the church reading the Bible, praying. They spent a couple of minutes after talking to each other and suddenly the scene of hate and death. The fact the killer was a formal member of Jehovah Witnesses makes a tragedy hard to bear. 4,000 Jehovah Witnesses in Hamburg community divided into smaller Kingdom Halls meetings. Detectives investigating the mass shooting said the killer left the Jehovah Witnesses with not on good terms. I'll come back to that. Almost remains seriously injured in hospital, yet are there are uh, not yet out of danger. The doctors say there's a fair chance most will survive. Focusing on supporting the bereaved, he's left alone in their own grief. The attacker left the city that morning. The community was in shock, says one of the, the elder of the Kingdom Hall. I've got comments to make regarding this because we know this man is a representative of the Watchtower and is using the propaganda that he's saying in this article that there may be copycats again because he knows that there's a problem. The problem is their doctrines. The doctrines of shunning, the doctrines of not helping people. But here they are saying that they were not on good terms. But they're not saying why they weren't on good terms with the killer. Because they were shunning him. They were not helping him. Most probably his family were in this congregation. And they were not talking to him. So he f knows that there may be problems in the future. Because of their doctoring. But blames the suspect completely. To make them look like that they are so self-righteous. That it's not their fault that this happened and that even though we condone violence their doctrines and their deceiving lying way to the press this man is a liar and a deceiver representing the watchtower and all I can say is I sent the condolences, but this is just, I don't know, for words, lost me. I feel, yes, I feel sorry for those that have lost their lives, but it's not understanding the shunning policy of the doctrine of Jehovah Witnesses and the doctrine that that Jehovah's Witnesses won't help anyone 
who's disfellowshipped. They treat them like they're naughty schoolboys. And it, it's this is in a European country, shunning. <laughs>